Hi everyone, welcome to the 36th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about R square and adjusted R square. So, what is R square and adjusted R square? R square is a statistical measure of how close the data are to the fitted depression line. Like, what is how much there is a difference between the actual and the predicted value. It is also called the coefficient of determination or the coefficient of multiple uh, determination for multiple regression. Now, what is adjusted R square? Well, the adjusted R square is a modified version of R square that has been adjusted for the number of predictors in the model. The adjusted R square increases only if the new term improves the model more than uh, that would be expected by chance. Also, it decreases when the predictor improves the model by less than what is expected by chance. So let's take a simple example. So before that, one major difference between the R square and adjusted R square is that the R square supposes that every independent variable in the model explains the variation in the dependent variable. Dependent variable is my target variable or the output variable and it gives the percentage explained variation as if all independent variables in the model affects the dependent variable. Well, whereas adjusted R square gives the percentage variation explained by only those independent variable that in reality affects the dependent variable. Well, keeping aside this, the, the gyan which I have given. I will just explain in terms of this very simple model. Well, we have, we are going to uh, predict the dependent variable salary for my data set. So, we, I have three model X, Y and Z. Okay. In the first model, my independent variable is my years of experience. In the second model, my in, uh, independent variable is my years of experience and the skill set. Whereas in my third model, my uh, my uh, variable independent variable like years of experience skill set and marital status so you can see the r square is, is increasing when we are giving the logical value of my independent variable where the years of experience and skill set will like when my independent variable is the years of experience my r square is 0 0.6 which is pretty good and my adjusted r square is 0 0.5 now after that when i increase one more variable which is a case of uh, multiple linear regression my years of experience and skill set skill set will definitely definitely uh, improve this r square and adjusted r square from 6 to 0 0.7 and 0.55 to 0 0.6 but if you see years of experience skill set and the marital status the marital status cannot determine my salary okay so in that case r square increases but adjusted r square decreases so what i have said Adjusted R square decreases when the predictor improves the model by less than the expected by chance. Okay, so whenever we are taking part like <laughs> working uh, like using the stats model or any other thing or in the competition anywhere or in our production scenario, we should be very much careful by you by including only those uh, variables which will help to increase my adjusted R square and we should consider those variables. Okay, so let's start with one simple example using Excel. I, this is, so let's start i'll give i'll show you a very very basic example this is my data set and what i will do i will insert a scatter plot okay so this these are my actual values this is not my predicted values okay so what i will do i'll insert a regression line add a trend line okay and then i will give display equation on chart okay so this is my value now using this we will uh, create our model okay so what we will do we will first of all like we will go to our pandas and uh, not pandas we will go to the spider and we will import spd and then what we will do we will create our two data sets whatever we have created here right like what is the values for x is 10 20 30 40 50 so we'll give x1 is equal to we'll create a list 10 20 30 40 50 okay and for y is going we will give the value as 3 comma 4 comma 2 comma 5 comma 6 so, okay and then we'll create our data frame df1 is equals to df1 will add the x variable df1 add a variable which is equals to x1 Similarly, we'll add one more variable y, which is equal to y1. We'll execute this. 
before this we'll give df1 is equal to pd dot data frame Let's create a empty file okay now we'll execute all these lines so our data frame is created df1 with the two uh, columns x and y which is the same as i have shown in this table okay now we'll come back to our spider now we'll add the column one by one so what we'll do first we will add first we'll want to get what is the mean of this column y okay so what we'll do we'll give df1 here what is the mean of the column y so y mean is equals to d df1 y dot mean okay this so the mean of y is 4.0 that is fine now we will add what actually is required here in order to get the r square like is we need to create y minus y mean then we need to add one more column the square of y minus y mean square then the third column will be we need to get uh, y uh, like y bar y bar is nothing but we'll, we need to get the equation like y is equals to mx plus c we need to calculate this mx plus c value c then we need to get y bar minus y mean and after that we need to get the y bar minus y mean square Once we get this, the at the formula for my r square is equals to the sum of all the like y y bar minus y mean square divided by y. y minus y mean s q p r a this is the value which gives me how well my line is fitted with my my points is fitted with my regression line so let's execute this using python so what will we are suppose uh, what we are required to do we, we are required to add y minus y mean okay so we we'll give df1 y minus y mean is equals to df1 okay then what is the value we need to y mean y minus y mean square we need to get this value right then close up what we'll do we'll execute this two line first Okay, we'll open this df1 and see okay so now if you see here if you add up all the values of y mean it will come up to zero okay y minus i mean y minus y mean if you all add up all the values it will come up to zero now what we'll do after this as for this okay what are we going to add next this two column is added now the next column is mx plus c now as per this sheet what is my equation this is y equation right so 0 point, uh, 1.9 plus 0 0.0 x x is nothing by but my uh, value of my x column so here what we'll do df1 y bar is equals to 1.9 plus 0 point 07 into df1 of x So my value for my this column y bar also is generated after this what we'll do we'll calculate this is also calculate now we need to calculate y bar minus y mean and or by uh, y bar minus y mean square so we need to calculate df1 y bar minus y yeah okay so 
this will be equals to after this we need to just calculate the square of this y bar minus y bar okay so it will give you create y bar minus y mean square now to calculate the adjusted uh, to calculate the r square r square will be nothing but r plus square r square is equals to df1 y bar minus y mean dot sum which is divided by df1 y minus if we calculate this we will get the so if we calculate now r square we get we get the value of r square Adjusted R square is equal to one minus one one minus of uh, R underscore S Q U R E whole square into number of observation n minus one divided by divided by n minus k minus one n is equal to number of points in the data. K is equals to number of different variables. So using this formula, we can calculate R square and adjusted R square. So so this is how we will calculate the adjusted R square and the R square based on the number of points available. So Thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and comment. And if, if you think there is a scope of enhancement, please also post in the comment section. Thank you.